Hello and welcome back to RimWorld. Not quite the RimWorld you knew. Who's in a poor mood? Claire. Um, okay, let's let we'll, we'll check out what she's doing in a second. Um, obviously, in my last one, let's zoom in a bit so we're not quite in the sky. In the last one, everybody died a little bit, and Avo was kind of a uh, naked, crazy dead guy. Um, hence the no pants name. I mean, come on, Avo, what are you doing, man? And uh, Squiggly Bob kind of lost an arm with with rusty spoon or fork fork and uh and, and then he died a bit and i'm pretty sure claire got like mauled by animals and shot and all sorts of horrible nasty grizzly things happen so in the meantime <laughs> while you were all digesting that because i realized they were kind of long videos well the first one was kind of a long video I do apologize about that but i kind of wanted to get a bit of give you a bit of sort of background and sort of like here's how much it takes to get into this game i've been playing this game for a little while though and uh, oh, cargo pods. Let's uh, yeah, pause that there. That pauses nicely. I've been playing this game for a little while, and I've kind of got it set up nicely. I got lucky when I uh, spawned. Well, let's say when I spawned, when I crash landed, and uh, found a kind of a little alcove in some rock. And I've built our home there. We've got a couple of walls to keep most of the nasty people out. Doesn't keep all the nasty people out. We had a bit of a bit of a break in, so Bob's down here working on a wall. But it seems to be working quite well. So let's jump to this location. What's a cargo? Cargo pod has left some artillery shells. Interesting. Now this is something you get kind of randomly when you're playing. Oh dear, there's a raid. And oh, they've all got guns. When you're playing um, colonist mode or crash landed, you get bits of spacecraft still dropping in. I don't know whether it's supposedly the bits of your spacecraft from where you've crashed, or just just random cargo drops. But it happens. You also get raided by other people. Now these guys, there's a sniper rifle, pistol, pistol, some sort of shotgun, pump shotgun. Yeah, we should be able to fend these people off quite easily, because I've got quite a lot of weaponry. I've got an assault rifle. That's 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 a rifle. There's another rifle. Bob doesn't have anything. I have to sort that out. And a uh, derp. Pilot, pilot derp has got a sniper rifle. Now, you probably noticed something where I'm just clicking on my characters up here. There's another person up here called Derp, which is dead. We had some issues with somebody who turned up who was also called Derp and went a little bit balmy. And although they were Figgy's friend, which she's not too pleased about, ended up getting killed and has now been left near the graves. Now, because he was one of our people, I was going to build an ice grave for him and bury him up here. But for whatever reason, people seem to be refusing to build his grave, and we're also now stockpiling dead bodies, as you do. Um, it's also winter now, so outdoors is like, can you see down here in the right-hand corner, 10 degrees is outside, so it's pretty cold outside, so they're all getting a bit grumpy when they're working outside. Thankfully though, I have a couple of heaters, I've got some torches, and these things are vents, it vents the temperature from one room to another to try and equalise it. Thankfully, we've got a couple of vents going on, so most of this in here is pretty warm. Um, this is like our food making room. I had to put it inside because people were moaning when they were getting fed. Anyway, we need to repel these nasty people up there. Now, it's going to take them a while to get down to us, so let's uh, let's press play. We won't have to do anything just yet. Now, if we can find a weapon for good old Bob here, that would be kind of handy. I'd rather give him a gun than a knife, but he might end up having to have a knife. Look at this. I can't see any guns knocking around. Hopefully they'll have that wall finished and uh, they'll be inside. Ah! There's a gun. That's that's lucky. So, we get Bob to pick that up. That's, that's better than nothing, isn't it? There's a couple of pistols knocking around outside. This is just, We've had a few fights, as you can see. The, the place is kind of blood splattered. There's not overly great living conditions, but it's the best we can do at the moment. There's, uh, there's five of us. There was six. <laughs> there's five of us. I'd like, we've even got a medical wall down here. This this is supposedly like, this floor is like clean floor. I can't remember the name for it. Let's quickly have a look. Let's pause it. I'll tell you. I don't want this video to run on for ages because it's going to be a little bit boring. But we'll do this little raid and then we'll see what's happening after that. See who survives it. Hopefully more than a few people are going to survive this. Sterile tiles. There we are. That's what they're called. And these blue beds, you can set, set beds to be different. So you can have prisoner beds or you can have medical beds or you can just have just prisoner beds or just medical beds but yeah let's just, so if any of these guys we end up knocking them out we can capture them and try and turn them to our side or like do nasty horrible things and torture them and stuff but we're not going to do that because we're nice aren't we we're, we're a nicer tribe of people they're all a little bit chilly and 
sort of living outside. Hey, Dirk's done that wall, well done. So he's now building a ceiling across it, which is alright, I suppose. But we are going to have some uh, trees inside Dirk. I suppose that is, is my namesake, isn't it? Let's build a roof over the trees. Well done, Derpy. You wally. Just like real Minecraft, isn't it? <laughs> real Minecraft, I like it. Okay, how are these guys doing the raid getting on? Avo! No! What are you doing, you crazy man? Oh, you've got to get back here now, Avo. Oh, are you getting... oh no, that's not good. We're going to have to go and get Avo. What was he doing up there? All right, let's pause. And we're going to take everybody we can to go and save Avo. Thankfully, Avo had a bit of a rubbish gun there. Is that everybody? That's everybody. So, let's get him up there as fast as we can. Hopefully we're not going to like kidnap him or anything, or or take all his clothes off and there'll be no pants Avo again. Or poopy pants. Or just, just like Avo lack of underwear man. <laughs> he has been shot though. That's not good. We are not pleased by Avo being shot. He has been shot in the right leg, in the spine, oh dear, and the torso. Uh, and his trivial blood loss, he's been shot four times. He's also had his left arm removed and his big toe cut off. He's not in a good state, poor old Avo, is he? Right, there's, there's me, me wrecking crew. Come on, Figgy, keep up. Figgy's become like our resident researcher. She's really good at researching stuff. So we just saw I let her get on with it. Right, derp. I believe you've got a sniper rifle, so if you can start taking some pot shots, that would be lovely. Can we shoot from back there? Out of range. Apparently not. Let's see if we can sneak up on him a little bit. I might even be able to get somebody in there to uh hold it, they're attacking. Come on guys. Who's this? Claire's got. Yeah, she's got a assault rifle. Yeah. Backside. Oh dear. Figgy, get in some cover girl. There's more of them than I thought there was. If we could all fire at the same person, that would be wonderful. There we go. I'm sure we're taking out quicker if we try to uh, fire at the same person. Come on. Oh, intense little battle going. Go on, get that guy. He's got a sniper rifle. That can't be good for us. Looks like Bob's been hit there. I'm pretty sure Figgy's been hit as well. She's bleeding. Come on, guys. Oh, no, Figgy's down. Oh, we can't be doing this. Two people down. Oh, Figgy's dead! They killed Figgy! Come on! Hang on! Can you shoot my corpse? How did I come to you, Figgy? She was our friend! They've killed her! She's been murderised! Gotta save Avo! Come on, guys! He's only stood behind a tree! Look at that! Come on, Bob! You can do better than that! Oh, shouldn't have moved Bob. Bob's dead. What's this? Mental break. Claire's gone berserk. Okay. Right, well, fight that guy. Go on, Claire. She's on a rampage. Before it, coffee. You've had it. Derp. Go and save Avo while oh, you've got time. Claire is on a rampage. Mental break. What's this? Claire 13, Black Spade has gone berserk. She was insulted. God, I don't want to upset that girl. <laughs> and she's beat coffee to death. Right, um, well, okay, this has not gone well. We've lost two of our colonists. Claire's gone, for the best part, mental. Uh, Avo is down, I'm assuming. New derp, replacement derp. Yeah, replacement derp is bleeding at a rate of 118%. Not quite sure how that works. I 118% of your blood to me would mean all of your blood's come out, then some more. But don't know, he's, he's still walking, so that's that's a good thing. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Come on, Claire, stop being berserk and crazy, please. I believe you're bleeding too. Oh no, just bruised. Okay. Well, Claire came through that reasonably unscathed. Everybody else, on the other hand, didn't. I've got a. Where's this? Oh, Bob, our surgeon, who is our best doctor, if you're wondering what surgeon is, everybody's got their own little little thing they can do. 
So when they turn up or you start the game with them, they've got a broker. Oh dear. Yeah, they've they've got attributes already assigned to them, so they might be good. Might be good a broker or a blacksmith, which makes them good at building things or uh, research. Hang on, these guys aren't actually dead, they're just knocked out. Maybe I can capture them and twist them to my own ways. <laughs> we shall see. Right. Avo. How are we doing, Avo? Come on. Gotta get Avo back there. Gotta get Avo back there. You see how wrong this can go? I thought I was uh, relatively safe. And then Avo decided to wander up there and get himself shot. Claire's gone by me. Let's uh, see. Let's see. Yeah, let's see. She's having aggressive thoughts. Friend Figgy died. Friend Bob died. She felt insulted. An innocent prisoner died, and she's witnessed Alloy's death. The innocent prisoner that died, we, we captured somebody. I thought, excellent, we've captured him. We popped him in here to try and try and heal him up, save him, and uh, like recruit them. And um, they refused to eat anything and just starved themselves to death, which is kind of, I say interesting, not good, but interesting. But uh, thankfully, Derp has got Avo back. Uh, Got lots of unowned beds now. Derp is now gonna strip Avo. Um, no, we're gonna hopefully uh, we're gonna get in bed. Okay. Well, that says it all, really, doesn't it? This was going well up until then, <laughs> and that's that's room world for you. Um, I'm gonna carry on playing this one. We'll see how we go. See if I can sort of uh, gain back some sort of sanity. I'll hopefully have at least three colonists the next time but come back to this one but I don't want to be making these videos way too long it looks like Derp's doing a reasonably good job of uh, patching our art there he's got some plasters on him so he should be okay hopefully Claire's gonna come back she only had uh, a few cuts and bruises so she's, she's once she's cooled off chilled out a bit we'll, uh, we'll bring her back in and uh, hopefully somebody's gonna patch Derp up because he seems to be bleeding rather a lot all over the floor and I don't think that's all Avo's blood but anyway once again, thank you for watching. I'll see you all next time on RimWorld. I have been Derpy, and this has been my poor, poor Connolly getting shot to pieces. Bye bye! <laughs>